In the last screencast, we um, defined derived demand, and then we also looked at the factors that shift the resource demand curve. Um, usually, the resource demand curve that we're talking about is the labor curve, so I'm just going to refer to that from here on out. Okay, so one more time to review. When we're talking about the definition for the derived demand, the demand for a resource is derived from the demand for the output being produced. Now this is where the second part of the definition is going to be discussed. Um, there are two things that affect derived demand, productivity and product price. And so we're going to take a look at how these two things make the demand curve look the way that it does. So the demand curve is downward sloping. You need to get into the habit of being able to label the demand curve, um, MRP for labor, which is marginal revenue product, or and VMP for labor. Your book uses VMP um, throughout. So either one, though, will be on AP exams. So the formula that you need to memorize, the most important one from the factors market, is this one right here. And this is where you have the marginal revenue product or the value of the marginal product equals marginal product times product price. So VMP equals MP times PP. And these things here um, are what makes the demand curve look the way that it does where it's downward sloping. So let's first talk about marginal product. This is almost always on an AP exam. Uh, you'll find a lot that the factors market is on an FRQ. Usually you'll have one question about the product market, and then you'll have um, another question playing off of that or embedded within it that relates here to the factors market. Because in the first one, I can talk about how much of the good that the firm is going to produce, and then the last, well, how many workers should they hire? And that's what we eventually will be getting into. And so one of the reasons why the demand for labor is downward sloping is because of the because of marginal product. So marginal again is additional unit of. Product means output. So the additional output from hiring one more unit of labor or from one more unit of a resource. The reason that it is downward sloping is because of diminishing returns. This is the why. So this can be the what, what is the definition? But why is it downward sloping? Because of diminishing returns. And that's where output increases at a decreasing rate. If I hold all other variable inputs constant and I only look at what happens with labor, remember that marginal cost curve that's upward sloping, um, that Nike swoosh, it goes upward sloping because of diminishing returns. Your output increases at a decreasing rate. And so therefore, when you have that decreasing rate, that's the downward sloping part of the demand curve. And so output is increasing at a decreasing rate with this quantity of labor. The second reason why the demand curve is downward sloping for labor is because of the product price. And this stems back to that product market where you have the difference between the perfectly competitive industry and the imperfectly competitive industry. And so we already know that marginal product is going down. So that's why your VMP is going down. But then it's a matter of at what rate is it going down. For the perfectly competitive firm, they're price takers. They have a constant price, right? With each additional unit that they sell, it's always at that same constant rate. And so, therefore, that product price is always, like if, for example, the perfectly competitive market for broccoli is selling at $5 a bushel, well, then it's always going to be multiplied by $5, so it's constant. So you have this more linear um, marginal uh, uh, VMP curve because of that. Um, but for the imperfectly competitive firm, they're price makers. And as a result, if they want to increase quantity, remember in the product market, they have to lower the price because the law of demand. As output increases, price goes down. And so when I'm looking at this formula here, not only is marginal product going down as I'm hiring more workers and I'm making more, but so is the, the product price because I'm moving at a larger quantity of the product. And so it's like I've got two things that are making it be decline. And so it becomes much steeper, or as we now refer to when you have a more vertical line, it becomes more inelastic. And so this formula 
is is necessary. I promise you that it will be on FRQs. You need to know it. Um, most questions are about the perfectly competitive market, but the follow-up with that is why is it downward sloping? Because of that marginal product, which is diminishing returns.